In this video of the OMA tutorial series, we will discuss IHAM, which stands for Interactive Hog Analysis Method. It is a tool for visualizing the evolutionary history of a specific gene family. IHAM lets you visualize ancestral genes, extant genes, and the history of duplications and losses which produced them. In this video, we will use the OMA browser as an example to demonstrate the concept and features of IHAM. IHAM is made for exploring hierarchical orthologous groups, or HOGs. HOGs are defined as groups of genes that descended from a common ancestral gene at a given taxonomic level. HOGs consist of groups of orthologs and or paralogs, and vary in size depending on the taxonomic range considered. In this example, the species tree is shown on the left, and the related gene tree of a particular gene family is shown on the right. In the gene tree, the duplication event is indicated with a star, and the remaining nodes represent speciation events. This gene family in particular had a duplication after the tetrapod speciation. Thus, the hogs at the tetrapods level consist of five genes, Whereas at the mammal's taxonomic level, there are two hogs consisting of two genes each. For more information on hogs, please see our previous What are Hogs tutorial by clicking on the link at the top of the screen. The easiest way to get to the IHAM visualization is by first searching for your favorite gene in the OMA browser, for which you are interested in the evolutionary history. Let's take the Arabidopsis thaliana gene, which is involved in pectin production. From here, simply click on the Hierarchical Orthologous Groups tab to take you directly to IHAM. First, let's focus on the tree on the left side of the screen. It represents the species tree, showing the relationships between all the species we have in OMA. By default, the tree is open to the level of the root hog, which is the oldest and largest hog that the gene of interest can be found in. In order to freeze the tree at this taxonomic level, right-click on the red node and click Freeze Tree at this node. Each box on the right-hand side represents an extant gene, or a gene in a modern-day species. The gene of interest which we originally searched for is highlighted in green. Here, for example, we see that Arabidopsis thaliana has three genes in its present-day genome. Click on any gene to get the ID and links to more information. A hog viewed from its root level can be considered a gene family. This means that all of the genes in each extant species descended from one gene in the root ancestor. In this example, we can think of it as, in the ancient ancestor Mesangiospermae, this particular gene first appeared, and then over the course of evolution gave rise to all these genes in the extant species, due to a series of speciations and duplications. You can focus on certain clades on the species tree by clicking on Collapse Subtree. To view at a different taxonomic level, simply right-click the node again, click Unfreeze the tree, and navigate to your taxonomic level of interest. Here, we move from the Mesangiospermae to the Pentapentale level. Each hog at any given taxonomic level is delineated by the vertical lines. In this example, we can see that at the Pentapentale level, there are four hogs. Each hog consists of a cluster of extant genes. Thus, at the pentapetale level, we can assume that there were four ancestral genes in this gene family. Each group of genes between the lines descended from one of those four ancestral genes. Therefore, we can infer that a series of three duplications happened in the ancient pentapetale because this is where we observe IHAM splitting the one big hog into four hogs. We can also see in the Solanaceae, there was one duplication because now the extant genes previously in one hog are now split into two hogs. 
Every time a vertical line that splits a hog appears, a duplication happened. There were four genes in the Pentapetale ancestor that gave rise to the extant genes in the descendant species. However, in Arabidopsis thaliana, we can infer that only two of these ancient genes gave rise to the three extant genes. This is because within the hogs at this level, two do not contain Arabidopsis genes. Thus, these two ancient genes were lost at some point in evolution. Where were these genes lost? Ancestral gene number two was lost in the Brassicaceae, and ancestral gene number three was lost in the Malvids. Clades with all genes missing in the hog indicate a loss. We can therefore trace the evolutionary history of the gene of interest in Arabidopsis thaliana. In the Brassicaceae ancestor, ancestral gene number one was duplicated. Finally, we end up at the leaves of the species tree, where all genes are separated by vertical lines. That concludes this Basics of IHAM tutorial video. Try it out on your own gene family at omabrowser.org.